Hey everybody, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to tag messages and chats in Teams to help improve your workflow. I want to start off by answering the question of why would you want to tag messages and chats in Teams? And the answer is really quite simple. As we use Teams more and more every day, it will become harder to find exactly what you're looking for. So when you can tag messages and posts that are really important to you, you always have your own little repository that you can just dig into and you can find those important messages. If you find this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of my updates. With that being said, let's get into it. Opening up Microsoft Teams, I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of how you can do this. So I'm going to launch into the Research and Development channel and then I'm going to find this message here from Adele. Here it's got a Mark 8 Performance Overview and Mark 8 Parts and Specific List, a Word and Excel document. And you want to make sure these documents are always easily accessible to you. So instead of remembering where these are saved and which channel they're in, so what I want you to do is leave your mouse over Adele's message for a couple of seconds and you see that these reaction replies appear in the top right hand corner. We can give it a thumbs up, why not? But what I want you to do is actually select on the ellipses. In any Microsoft program, the three dots, the ellipses, it always means more options. That's just a quick tip for you. So I want to select the more options here and you're going to see it's going to give me options to save the message, mark as unread, copy a link to it, a number of different actions. What I want you to do is select the option of save this message. When we select save this message, you see a little save icon appears in the top right hand corner and that message is now saved for you to recall back later. Before I show you where they're saved, I want to give you a second example. So this time we're going to scroll over to our chat section. And you see here that there is a message here from Alec with a Word document that, you ha that has to be reviewed by the end of day. So what I'm showing you here is that you can tag messages both in Teams channels, but also in individual group chats. Just like we did with the other message, you can give a reaction reply here, but I want you to select the ellipses in the top right hand corner and go save this message. Again, you get the little icon that says saved, and now I'm going to show you how to pull up both of those saved messages. What you want to do is simply select on your profile picture, scroll down, to where it says saved, and we're going to select the option that says saved. This is now going to take you to all of your saved and pinned messages. And you can see here we have the message from Adele. If I select that, it's going to take us straight to that message in those documents. If I select the chat from Alex, exact same thing, it's going to take us straight to that chat in those documents. And it is that simple, simply finding the message you're after, select the ellipses and go save. To pull it up, select on your profile picture and open up your saved options. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of my updates. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.